So in my last video, I showed you how to add a custom token, um, the BEP20 token, to your MetaMask. In this case, it was Pluto. And in that process, I showed an application called PooCoin.app. And people were asking me what it was. And they were also in the Telegram um, asking you know, how you find the market cap and the amount of token holders and how, many, um, how much money is in the liquidity pool. And so I'm going to show you how to do that today. And so just some background at what uh, PlutoPepe.com is or the Pluto coin is it's the first ever choose your own adventure governance token where the token holders or the stakeholders decide how exactly Pepe is going to get to Pluto uh, based on governance. And so here we are on the pool coin charts. Um, I, this is a, basically a trading view embedded um, and used for BSC or Binance Smart Chain BEP20 tokens um, to, to track it. So if you guys are familiar with TradingView, um, something that is used for technical analysis, not just in the crypto space, but in stocks as well, where you can um, map out your different um, indicators and show people you know, the trajectory of where you think your um, asset is going to go. So off, off the bat, you can see the market cap right here. It's inching up to 15 million. Uh, and then you can see Pluto BNB liquidity pools. And what this means is that there's 265,000 uh, liquid dollars worth of liquidity providing that um, individuals are getting incentivized to uh, basically make the market. So on PancakeSwap, the reason why you're able to switch from Pluto to BNB is because um, there is 265 grand worth that you can switch from and the fees that you pay go to the liquidity providers. So this is their incentive to do so. So although there is 14 million um, out in circulation, what this market cap isn't total supply times price, but rather total uh, coins in circulation times the price uh, constitutes the market cap. So right off the bat, um, you can see directly the Binance scan contract, the transaction, and the amount of Pluto holders. So what Binance scan is, and let me just go into this, is it is a live block explorer for Binance Smart Chain. So this is how you confirm transactions. You see where money is going to, or where it's coming from, um, all that stuff. So you can see that there are 502 addresses right here. Um, you can see the holders right here. You can even read the smart contract. Um, you can see the distribution. Um, this is for scheduled burns. Um, and you can go in depth and really, really do some analysis on that. And so uh, one thing that um, they also have a rug check that te checks the top 10 wallets. So let's briefly go into that. And then it lets you know, you know where it's sending things to and any kind of suspicious behavior. Um, and so that's also a good tool as well. So let's go back to there um, as well. And then you can even see how many people are visiting PooCoin in the last 24 hours. So you can see there's been 2,600 hits in the past 24 hours with an average of like 40 and 60 at a time. Um, so thousands of people are using the PooCoin, that app, to, uh, to look at the Pluto and BNB uh, pairing. And so one thing I want to show you um, before I go into just kind of the features of the TradingView application um, in here, well, so you can actually take a snapshot and export it. Um, there's different chart properties. There are traditional indicators, like um, you have the average price, you have the Ichimochu cloud, which is like an aggregate of all of that. You have the undo button, so you could take off the indicators that you use. You can change from candlesticks to lines to areas. I know most traders tend to do one candlestick. So I'm not a day trader, I don't swing trade. I just like coins, I like the value of crypto. And so that's uh, you know my interest for it. So I'm I'm not used to actually applying um, indicators and and charting out. You know I believe in coin and I buy low, sell high, and that's about it. And so if you go to the uh, BigQuery Explorer and you can also zoom in, drag this and see the relative scales. You can even see the transactions in live time, whether there is sell or a buy, and then the Binance Smart Chain transaction hash you can see right here and then you can see um how much it was for into what um and you can even uh tr you can even track the wallets and see what type of people are investing in pluto or what other assets um based on this you can check for bot activity you can um just kind of see the psychology of who what type of person buys pluto and so another good tool that's kind of overlooked in here is um what they powered by or what um, kind of the API pulls from to generate this 
um, and apply it to the TA, uh, the, the trading view, uh, TA view. And so if you go to explorer.bigquery, you can actually directly put the token address. And that's what Pluto is doing here. It's putting the token address. I mean, what PooCoin is doing here. Um, in Pluto, the token address is the same. So it, generally in these sites, no matter what a BEP20 token you have, you can just interchange and then get the same analytics. So this applies um, even for, for ERC20 tokens on ETHSCAN.io. But here's some information on it. You can see um, the symbol, the type, the number of decimals. This is all the information that you um, initially put when you're you know, updating into Trust or um, MetaMask Wallet. Um, you can see the amount of transfers, the unique senders, the unique receivers. Um, so you can see 576 are getting this token, but only 188 are sending it out. And this includes the contracts as well. You can see the medium transfer amount, and then you can multiply that by the Pluto coin. And you can see the average amount people are transferring. So this is good for detecting royal activity. You can also see the first transfer date and the last transfer date. So although the pre-sale ended today and it hasn't even been a full 24 hours, um, this is referring to the contract um, that was originally put on deck sale for the pre-sale. So they have some analytics like transfers and um, and they have some, and this has more. So you can, you can see this, this is just another view of that as well. You can see senders. And um, yeah, and so this is that wallet that we mentioned. I think this is a burn wallet. Um, and um, yeah, and so you can see that distribution as well. And when it is just another another kind of view than the Explorer or the PooCoin as well. What I like about this, it tells you what exchanges it's on right now. It's only on Pancake version two. And if you go to the um, PooCoin, you can see version one um versus version two well well this is embedded but you can you can merge both versions right here and see an aggregate of, of both one but it's only on pancake version two and also on the view i kind of overlooked this it's the one day one week and one month you can also hide this side right here make it easier hide this side to get a better view but i like to see market cap just to look at some additional features on bitquery um you can see what dexes you know, a majority of the token is being moved in terms of volume. You can see that everything is on Pancake V2 because right now um, Pancake Swap is the only place where liquidity is provided and where you can purchase a Pluto. And you can see senders and receivers, not too different from what's already in Binance uh, Scan, the, the, the block explorer. Um, but you can see the smart contract in, in particular um, between external and internal calls. Um, what I like here is the methods function. And if you're getting new to the development space, you can better understand, you know, which function or which method within the smart contract for the for the BEP20 token, Pluto, is being called. So you get an idea, oh, we got to check the balance of more than we're transferring. You got to know how much you have before you transfer. And so um, that's kind of a better way to understand. And then you can see when, when the calls for, were and even show more and then get a CSV or GraphQL out of that. And that's something that I overlooked in the um, Binance uh, Smart BSC scan um, that you can see and download the CSV export. I mean, export the CSV and then do um, data visualizations in whether it's Jupyter Notebook or whatever um, ID of your choice. And one thing that I want to put here is that, that the holders, I didn't show this before, there is actually a token holders chart, which I like more than BitQuery um, because um, you can just see receivers. They have a they have some visualizations right here as, as a pie chart, but I like to see it straight up like this, so you can see the addresses in particular. Another thing that I overlooked is there is a search function here, so you can look for a particular transaction ID if someone gives it to you directly in here. Um, I just recommend you know putting that link directly in here. But if you're looking for a particular whale wallet that you know is here, um, you can track it here. I would just recommend going straight to that wallet. Um, for example, like this is an address. Um, you see how it says token slash here um, because token address, um, there is a, this is actually, it's a, so what it did, it was it depended the token name and then um, did the search filter of the address and now it's filtering by that. But if you want to see the token holder that the address page you can go around here and see exactly what they're holding so let's see where do i 
find that. But you can go down here and see exactly what they're holding. Um, if you go up here into this expand, now I can see, all right, this is someone who is investing um, in uh, Pluto. And what else are they investing in? What type of investor they are? This is what I was talking about earlier. Oh, they invest in all these types of dumb coins. So uh, it might be a bot, you know, um, automating and looking for, for shit coins to buy. So who, who knows? Um, but the, the total value in USD though is 29 million. So this is a whale wallet. And um, like here, you can you can directly put anybody's wallets under token holding and quickly get an idea of, of what they're holding. And you can also do something like this similar on Xerion and get notifications for it. Um, but there's also a way to directly look at the contracts. Um, this, is, this isn't that though, this isn't Pluto. This is, this is the guy's address. But if you go and you go to read contract, um, there is a way to even get a UML diagram from here and get the smart contract code directly. But um, you can see the parameters they put in easily. So this this segregates it better and allows you to even play with the parameters and kind of. Uh, so that's that's something that I, I really like for for developers. Um, and there's a way to activate developer tools here that I can show you later. Right now, normally the price would populate unless it's a relatively new coin, then it had to take some time. That's how you know you're really in. There's different levels of like oh, pre-sale, then the actual launch, and um, then the price being on PancakeSwap or the price not even being on PooCoin and then not even being on Binance Scan. Um, the reason why it's not here though is the actual price, um, as you can see, it has a lot of zeros back. So it's just um, kind of, um, what's that called when they, uh, when they truncate, yeah, it, it truncates the values. And so yeah, there's some tools um, in the Block Explorer and BigQuery and uh, this TA um, chart as well. Let me know what else you can do, what else you find, how you use this to leverage your trades, um, how you use this to understand smart contracts better and the comments below. And hopefully uh, this uh, helps you start your journey on on-chain analysis. And speaking of start your journey, make sure um, to be involved in the governance because I think this choose your own adventure in terms of storyline is a new perspective. And in terms of governance or decentralized autonomous organizations, um, there's a huge potential to translate business functions into smart contracts and have us govern our organizations in a way that's decentralized. So um, this is kind of on the forefront, although it's a joke, um, into understanding the use cases for this application of blockchain better. So have a nice day, everybody.